All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Spark and Zero content, and today we have even more gameplay of the custom battle mode. There's this new scenario going on. A massive thanks to four games for providing today's footage. I'll have them linked down below in the description. Without further ado, make sure to drop a like and turn on post notifications. Let's hop straight into it. So I think they teased this within the game mode showcase trailer. You guys know how they were setting up the battle of Hercule going up against the Z fighters, Chatsu, Krillin, Tien, and Yamcha. I think that's what this story mission is here. And look at that, some scenes outside the arena. This low-key reminds me of DBZ Kakarot. <laughs> Did you see Krillin, his facial expression? He's angry. He's like, nah, we're tired of losing on purpose. We're going to win for once. <laughs> That's the what-if story. I'm, I'm just putting the pieces together. They've had enough. But then, obviously, Herkyo is legitimately going to win this one. Finally, right? So, going up against Master Roshi. Wait, this is the very first look at Master Roshi, I believe. Oh, wait, we can't do damage or... We can't stun the opponent. There's Chatsu, first gameplay of Chatsu as well. Oh, this is pretty cool. They're showing tons of new gameplay. All right, so I noticed this is the world tournament stage without the ring outs system implemented. Of course, it's sort of been confirmed. You can toggle on and off the ring out system. But notice within this specific stage, we don't have the audience in the background. <laughs> There's two different world tournament stages. The first one, of course, with the audience. And if you land an ultimate attack, we've seen this many times before. Uh, let's say Angry Kamamaha, for example, will get this cutscene of the audience running away. And then afterwards, the arena expands into this variation here. However, at the start of the battle, um, it was already at that point, right? So what I'm trying to say is there's two different world tournament stages, one with the audience and one without. And that's what this one is right here. Look! We get to fight outside the arena, behind the buildings. Top tier. Top tier, man. If I'm remembering correctly, this feature, fighting outside the arena, was not in any other Dragon Ball game. I know there's those different types of anime games, you know, like the jump victory style games. I believe J-Stars had this map. You know, you can fight, si fight outside the arena. But in an original Dragon Ball game, I think this is the very first. What's going on? More cutscenes. Hey, yep. Yep. So cool. I think this was also the first look outside the tournament as well. I know we've seen demo footage from the other content creators, but they were fighting up in the air. So that was cool how they were playing as Hercule. We got the ground aspect, if you will. Now this is true one versus one, it seems, with Krillin. Correct me down below, but isn't Krillin supposed to be the strongest Z fighter in the anime? I always thought it was Tien for some reason. But others have been saying it's Krillin, and I think there was a What If Saga about that in the Rage and Blast series, or was it Tenkaichi? Can't necessarily remember, but of course, Hercules attacks, RNG based. Uh, it failed. Krillin just stood there with plot armor, super armor. <laughs> the Z Broly sound effect. I always laugh at that, man. Why did they implement that for Hercules Ultimate? <laughs> That's supposed to be for Z Broly, man. Does that confirm the character? I'm playing, I'm playing. Hopefully, you know. So it seems like that's going to be the layout or foundation of the custom battles where we get the beginning part of the story then we do a couple fights and then we get the uh oh goku goku and then we get like the middle segment of the story and then the end battle here i'm assuming now going up against goku hey super saiyan blue this is definitely one of the parody what if story missions i mean Hercule about to go up against blue goku and he's most likely going to win as well <laughs> this is why Sparking Zero is going to be the greatest. The options and just, you know, the hours that we're going to be able to put within custom battle mode alone. It's going to be second to none. But yeah, that's the end of the clip. We do have another one. Blue Vegito versus Blue Gogeta. But I'm sure a lot of you guys already seen that one before. Massive thanks to Shenron Z for providing this clip. I'll be sure to have the links down below in the description as well. Everything is also in English. I think when we first saw this through the Japanese build of the Sparking Zero demos, 
yeah, we didn't necessarily know what was going on. But here we have more insight of the playable different stages, Planonamic, Open Field, Rocky Land, City, World Tournament, Tournament of Power Arena, check that out. Uh, Room of Spirit and Time, Land of the Kai's Islands, Cell Games Arena, and City Ruins. Now, you probably noticed that some of the stages have the arrow icon. That's referring to the different variations, which we'll see some of that here shortly. We have the backgrounds there, you know, teasing or revealing some of the characters that we haven't necessarily seen before, like Ultimate Gohan and Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan. I know we have seen the character, but not necessarily his gameplay reveal. And yeah, here are all the different custom battle settings. We get to change the health, the key, uh, switch out the characters, add, you know, even more characters, create our very own scenarios, thumbnails, add the uh, different details, conditions. Look at that, the different battle settings right there. And here is the Gogeta versus Vegito matchup. I think we skipped the stage part. Yeah, this is the stage that was mentioning at the start we have planet Namek, the three different variations of wasteland i believe noon evening and night then we have rocky mountains noon evening nights west city noon evening nights and the two world tournament stages that i talked about at the start of the video as well the one with the audience and the other one without the audience and on to the actual fusion of battle this is very interesting instead of the normal typical uh let's see which fusion is stronger you know type story comment down below your best scenario what led to this showdown right here why would gogeta and vegeto be fighting maybe you know to be or maybe have the next chance to fight beerus at full power i don't know <laughs> just something crazy ultimate versus ultimate see that's just one of the uh, examples of the title cards you know classic dbz days on the next episode of Sparking Zero Custom Battles. The quality is not necessarily the best, but we're just working with what we got. I have seen this footage before as well, but I don't think I showcased it here on the channel. So just in case, for the people who have missed out on this specific battle here, pretty epic if you ask me. Oh, so yeah, this is the one with the audience, of course. And although Gogeta just hit the ground, I believe, right? can't necessarily tell uh the ring out system is still off and yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> that was pretty much it it already ended uh, again we can toggle on and off the ring out system but this is pretty much it for today's video just wanted to go over the two uh custom battle gameplay modes the first segment of this video Parkyo versus tien goku chatsu yamcha was new this is pretty old but thank you guys for the immense support as always and i'll see you guys in the next one peace